Aspa nasce. Aspa was founded with an inside hydraulic motor, a multinational company producing hydraulic motors worldwide. Since the 1970s, we have produced two parts, particularly for hydraulic motors, while in the 1990s, we started to approach the main, predominant market of the city of Modena, the automotive market. Around the year 2000, we started working with a new manufacturer, Pagani Automobili, with which we established an important collaboration, and together we have made great progress. Here we are in the new Pagani Automobili production plant, which will be opened in mid-2016. More specifically, we are in the assembly area, where in the future, all the Pagani supercars will be produced. Pagani Automobili is a manufacturer of limited edition supercars, produced exclusively to fulfill the requirements of each specific customer. Pagani Automobili started to market its first product in 1999, when it presented the Pagani Zonda C12 at the Geneva Motor Show. In 2011, the Pagani Huayra was introduced and is named after a South American god of the wind. It was the first vehicle that Pagani had designed to be marketed globally. The business relationship with ASPA has continued for over 10 years, and it all started with the Pagani Zonda project. Pagani has always had the need to create customized vehicles to fulfill customers' requirements, therefore with an extremely high level of personalization. Such personalization is not limited to the choice of the paint color or with the matching of the interior leather furnishings, but also painstaking attention is paid to all the finest details of the interiors, such as the aluminium buttons or the external anodizing finish. In short, all those requirements which cannot usually be fulfilled by mass production companies. Pagani has believed in us, and we have believed in Pagani. In ASPA, we started to put together all those resources that could help us reach certain targets, while Pagani started designing those parts which we started producing. We immediately realized that we had neither the technical means nor the systems to be able to fulfill its requirements. From this important stimulus came the need for more complete machinery. Therefore, state-of-the-art three- and five-axis machines for men who could operate this machinery and systems which could create that significant combination between man and machine. This is how our collaboration with Tebis was established. Tebis was founded in Germany, in the outskirts of Munich, in the mid-1980s. We were the first company to use PCs to run a CAD CAM software. What has characterized the recent change of software has been the concept of virtualizing the manufacturing and programming processes by duplicating the equipment present in the workshop within a virtual environment. The aim is to simulate the process in advance by virtualizing it so as to avoid incurring problems that may cause an interruption in the production cycle. Those who work with external simulators use them at the end of the process. Instead, we at Tebis use the virtual machine right from the beginning of the process, 
therefore to know where a machine part must be positioned, which type of tool to use, and finally, to test the actual reliability of the entire process. The machine part must have these two important characteristics. Mechanically, it must comply with the technical drawing, but above all, it must be aesthetically pleasing. For example, if a console which operates 18 hours on a machine is not processed in a certain way, and this is not carried out using specific tools, it won't be possible to achieve the finished product that the customer requires. We needed software applications capable of providing us with these solutions. Our operators recognized Tebis as the ideal interlocutor, and Tebis provided us with the tools needed to achieve these results. We thought that Tebis was the ideal company to provide us with solutions to fulfill our needs. You only need to look at a Pagani Huayra part to understand that it has not been touched after processing, but it is anodized and directly fitted into the vehicle. All the machinery used in this workshop is digitalized in Tebis Virtual Machine Library. Therefore, the user can check in advance if a certain part can be used on a machine instead of another, and it can check which type of tool to use. All this can be done in advance. The most innovative functions are the possibility to work using the undercut process, a very advanced processing function with ball burrs, to carry out new roughing techniques using the calculation of the volume of chips to be removed, and to perform a parallel finish on two open curves, to be able to give a customized touch with a more aesthetic result. Pagani. Pagani is definitely ASPA's most important customer. Pagani asked ASPA to fulfill qualitative requirements that could only be performed by excellent machinery and software that could significantly improve the technological system of the machinery itself. In terms of quality, feeling and materials, our customer expects the best. Consequently, we need to process demanding materials such as titanium or aerospace aluminium. ASPA also produces the Huayra logo on its bumper milled from the solid. This is a part which, in any automobile context, is normally molded, while for a Pagani, this is not enough. The customer only wants the best. Painstaking attention is paid to both the details and to the technical contents of the product itself. For this reason, ASPA has asked us to machine a logo from a solid block of aerospace aluminium and to put this on its bumpers. This component takes 24 hours to produce, as the milling tools used must reach the degree of perfection that we require. The parts really have a significant value added that is given to the machines, both by the man and surely by the CAD CAM software we are using. The combination of these three things give us the result we wish to achieve. Trying to reach an increasingly higher quality level, never being satisfied and always making progress are probably the key factors that these three companies have in common. From a supplier relationship, we have established an extremely close partnership, also regarding the design process itself. 
For this reason, ASPA has built a technical department on its premises. A Pagani Automobili part dedicated area, which has allowed us to extend the collaboration also to the component concept, design, creation and production stages. ASPA is no longer, therefore, an external supplier, but as regards the product design and creation flow, it is now part of the Pagani design team. Even when a customer isn't driving a Pagani Huayra, he always has the car key, so he is taking one of the many objects produced by ASPA with him. This key is machined from an aluminium block and it recalls a simplified version of the car silhouette. Also, this key can be customized upon the customer's request, so the color of the anodization may change or engravings can be done.